in Sumter now, district leaders are talking about allowing in-person learning for the students. Kaylin Hagwood has those details. District officials met for the first time last Friday to discuss the possibility of some face-to-face -face instruction. Then this Tuesday, Sumter Schools spoke with the State Department of Education over the phone about face-to-face -face learning, according to department leaders. A spokesperson for the district tells News 19 those discussions are ongoing and they will update families this Friday regarding any decision that's been made. According to the district's return plan, students who want to learn in person will be split into two groups if they do decide to allow in-person courses. When Group A is learning in person, Group B will be learning remotely and vice versa. And on Wednesdays, all students would learn remotely. Those wanting to stay virtual only will have that option as well. If Sumter schools do decide on in-person courses, they say parents will be given a two-weeks notice. For Street Squad Sumter, I'm Kaylin Hagwood.